Nope, this is not a hair straightener. It's got these ridges in the middle and it is marketed as a bag sealer. What? Just press the sealed area of the bag for three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Let's try, keep going. Let's keep going. One, two. The only thing I wish so far using this is that it was longer so that it seals all the way across. I mean, we could totally prank someone and eat all the chips, seal it up, fill it up with like something and then have them open it to be something else. Oh my God, that would be such a fun April Fool's prank. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna just do three seconds because thin plastic could melt. One, two, three. Oh, okay, well that definitely did not work. Oh, no. Okay, so it doesn't work on just a regular old plastic bag like this, but I wonder if I turned off the heat, it would work. But I mean like it still sealed the top. Okay, another thing that we always have trouble with, like again, these like half sealed packages. This would be so useful on like rice bags. One, two, five. <gasps> Yay, that really worked too. Okay, so. I feel, I, feel, I feel like this would be a game changer. It would be kind of annoying to take it out and heat it up every time I needed to seal something, but I think this is way less wasteful. So I'm gonna rate this eight out of 10 because it didn't seal simple plastic like this. Um, this one is an egg piercer. Basically, it's this contraption that has a needle poking through the bottom so you can pierce the fat bottom of your egg for a perfectly rounded, hard-boiled egg, or it also makes it easier to peel afterwards too. All right, so I'm gonna have my water boiling and then you're supposed to pierce the fat bottom I'm scared. of the egg. Hopefully I don't crack it. Ah! It did it. Okay. So there's just like a tiny, tiny little, it's a tiny little hole and no liquid is coming out. I guess it's just supposed to let all the air out because as you cook the egg, it expands and this pushes out all the air and we'll set it for six and a half minutes. Can you film this? The air bubbles are coming out. Ew, it has a weird smell to it. My eggs are fairly fresh. All right, time is up. I'm gonna take it out and then put it into an ice bath to cool it down. Should be pretty cool to peel. Okay, so far so good. Oh, so there is an air bubble at the bottom, so it didn't expand throughout the shell like the internet said. I had a dimple right here that didn't work, but for the most part, it peeled really easily and you can tell how soft the egg is still. Oh, yes. I am a believer. This tool gets a 10 out of 10. This came out perfectly. So this tool right here is something I regretted as soon as I bought it. I got one of those notifications where Amazon said there's only eight left. So I thought, oh wow, might be cool. But then I realized it's just an apple grater and when in my life have I actually ever grated an apple before? It wasn't super cheap either. It was like $18 for this. So basically what you do is put the apple into the bottom and it has like spikes to hold it in place. And then you put this green thing on top and twist. It's supposed to core the apple too, which I guess that's useful. Oh my gosh. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. It's just kind of ravaging the bottom of the, the grating insert comes out through the green thing, not the bottom. Like you get the juice from the bottom. But this is made of plastic, so it's not sharp enough to cut through. Yeah, it's basically just juicing the bottom of it. You're doing it upside down. No, I'm not doing it upside down. It basically just grates it from the bottom, but it's supposed to go through the top, per the directions anyways. This is a useless tool, but I do wanna see if it grates like a zucchini. Okay, well the zucchini works a lot better. 
So you have to use like a really soft apple, but apples generally aren't soft. So I would rebrand this as a zucchini spiralizer, but there's a really big core that you could definitely still use, but it comes out spiral and nice. I mean, at this point, I would just use one of those spiralizers with a sharper blade. I have one of those and they work way better than this. I give this a one out of 10. This one is called a banana loca, and you're supposed to be able to stuff a banana with things like peanut butter, Nutella, yogurt, honey. So what you're supposed to do is cut the bottom of the banana, and then you insert it into this banana holder to kind of flatten it, and then stick this thing through to basically core it. Now I wonder how it's gonna handle the curve. Is it gonna go straight through? All right, it's in far enough, but oh, okay. Banana innards, ugh. Okay, so now you take it out and oh, it's like a banana donut. You're supposed to open this guy up and this is like the hopper where you put like your filling in. Today I'm gonna use peanut butter and then you attach this. I feel like this is something you would find at a carnival. Insert this. And press the peanut butter through. How do you know when you're done? Oh, it's definitely expanding. Whoa. Okay. And you got a filled banana right there. Okay, let me peel this and try it. I feel like this is pretty cool. Mmm. Definitely not anything groundbreaking. You could just slice bananas and put peanut butter on top. But this is so fun. I think for the sheer coolness of it, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Because for something like this, it's kind of a dumb tool. And it's kind of expensive too, like 30 bucks. But it's cool. So I give it a 9 out of 10. And it works. Let's bring the summer fair into the kitchen. I got a cotton candy machine and I know my four-year-old will be ecstatic. I got this one because I saw on the label that you can actually use not just like the sugar, but you could put in hard candy, two pieces of hard candy or sugar-free candy to make cotton candy. Like what? So I have, I have elderberry candy. <laughs> <laughs> a little healthy, right? First, let's see, what do you have to do? You have to turn it on. Oh, you have to let it heat up for at least 10 minutes before adding the flossing sugar, really? 10 minutes is up, so you're supposed to turn it off. Mm. This thing is warm but not hot, so that's cool. So now we add in the two hard candies. You're supposed to like equally weight and distribute it. Oh wow, it's already melting. And then turn it back on. Let's see if this works. Whoa! Oh my gosh. You guys see this? You guys see this? This is so cool. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh shit. Okay, you're supposed to hold, hold it. Hold on, hold on. I don't know how to do this. Definitely a learning curve. It goes so fast. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm gonna ruin this thing. Here. Is this better? That's like such a learning curve and of course like there's no cotton left to be had. <laughs> I definitely need to practice, but let's see. Like who would have thought a freaking cough drop could turn into cotton candy? Mmm. Look at this texture. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. It's legit cotton candy. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Anyways, did you guys think that these gadgets were worth it? And if you did, comment below and tell me which one you would get. I really like the hair crimper. I'm always gonna call it the hair crimper, but the bag sealer. And I really, really like the egg piercer because those two things I can see myself using. The last two were pretty cool. And of course the middle one was just a total dud. Waste of money. Give this video a thumbs up. If this video gets up to 5,000 thumbs up, I'm gonna do a special video trying all of the egg gadgets that I found at the store. So don't forget to like and give my channel a subscribe to see more fun videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.